Right honeys, welcome back to another video, another Sheen haul. I'm not even sorry about it. Um, the only thing I am going to apologise for and why I've come on the camera looking like I do is because I felt like it, for one. And for two, I probably just felt like it. But I just wanted to show you that before I start any of my haul videos, my room isn't the cleanest. So currently, we have clothes on the bed, which is the haul, um, washing to put away here, washing here, that needs partly doing, partly done. Um, James is staying with me for the week as well, um, because my mum and dad have gone back on holiday again. All right for some. So he's staying with Sorry. me. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. It oh my like god, I have just with the jumped echo device. out so of my skin. Them. Unplug both of them, then plug the router back in. Wait 30 seconds. Once the router is back on and connected to the internet, plug in the echo device. Well, that swiftly got unplugged because that has just scared the living shit out of me. I have just... I literally felt my heart go, mm. I was like, oh, okay. Thought I was going to be filming myself getting burgled or attacked then by a very posh woman, as it appears. But yeah, <laughs> getting back, now I can breathe again. There's like loads of pillows and crap over there as well because I normally have a very aesthetically pleasing bed, I, a little bit, with pillows. But I've learned just to let all that go because when James stays over, the second thing, the first thing that he does when he comes home from work is he comes upstairs, he throws all the pillows off the bed and he just lies there for a minute before he gets up and gets a shower and everything else. Bear in mind he works like in a busy yard full of dust and everything else and then he comes home and puts it all over the white sheets but that's for a different day. Um, so me and Rue have been outside, I don't know where she's gone, chilling because it's a bit cooler in here. Because it's one of those days, the hot days, where it's 32 degrees, I've been tanning myself outside and it does make me laugh. I know my SPF definitely works because I get all like a nice tan on my arms and my legs and then my face stays as pale as a ghost because my I put all my creams on before I go out in the sun. So my whole body gets a nice tan besides my face, but it's fine. Um, yeah, the plan is that I'm going to make myself a bit more presentable because right now, I'll show you in that mirror, I've got like a little thin, like a little bikini overthrow that I always take on my holidays with me because it's really lightweight and I think it's kind of cute as well. I don't know how it got so stretched out. It used to be quite, I mean it is still quite tight fitting. But I just feel like it's got a very stretched out around here. But yeah, as you can see, ten legs, ten arms, pale face. Yeah, yeah. And of course, I sat outside in my little flowy thing and my bikini because it's 32 degrees outside and you'd be fucking crazy not to. I've just sworn, but it's... But I don't feel really bad for swearing then. But anyway. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to make myself a bit more presentable and get the clothes in some sort of order as well because the gym set that I also ordered from Sheen I wore today as well, so that's a bit silly but let's just clean up and make myself a bit more for the video Hello lovelies, you've just caught the very end of a Fleetwood Mac song and I've become obsessed over the- oh, I'm cutting half my head off I've become obsessed over the past few days with yeah. <laughs> Fleetwood Mac. Um, don't know what it is. I've always loved them. It's either, especially, well, actually, I don't know why I'm saying it at the minute, it's been forever. It's either ABBA, Becky Hill, or Fleetwood Mac that I play in the car. So if anyone gets in the car with me, apologies, it's going to be one of the three, which personally I don't think is a bad remix, but there we go. So the first one. I've not put anything on my face as well. I've just got out of the shower. Everything's sticking to me. It probably wasn't the best day, the best decision really, to do this clothing haul. Let me just shut that door because it's really annoying. Yeah, it probably wasn't the best decision to do this clothing haul in 32 degree heat 
but it is about half four so I thought if I don't do it now by the time that James gets home he's going to be loud the dog's going to go nuts um, he might come in in the halfway through the video hopefully not um, only for the sake of the purpose of the noise levels <laughs> but I was going to do it earlier on in the day but that's when it was proper like 34 degree heat and I thought a mop change and swapping clothes and that degree of heat and it's Starbucks Thursday so um, it was either now or never because I'm working tomorrow uh, Ralph, I'm getting coffee with Becky on Saturday I've already had two cups of coffee today I think I might have to rein it in a little bit um, we're out for cocktails and food with Jack and Becky in the evening and then I have got Sunday but by the time you film the video, edit it um, export it, upload it, it takes hours and hours and hours so here we are sweating so I'm actually really upset with myself that I put this on first because I want to continue wearing this because it is it's it's thick but it's quite lightweight and um, obviously perfect for this evening so I've just cropped my hair back with one of my little clamps from my previous hauls um, so a little cream set ribbed the top is see-through so definitely needs a bra but the shorts aren't see-through but I was, I'd always wear underwear anyway so it's all right but I love how like floaty and baggy they are and it's just a perfect little like throw on co-ord set I'd wear this to the airport really good airport outfit Um, throw a blazer over it or like a loose oversized shirt could be a good shopping outfit perfect for just running errands like shopping like food shopping Nipping to your friend's house, nipping to your friends for tea. Um, I think it's just like a multi purpose outfit to be honest. You could do a lot in this outfit, um, especially in this <laughs> this weather. I don't know what it is, but it's a random heat wave. We've got what yesterday, today, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then next week it's supposed to go back rubbish again. And I'm, I'm refusing to pay the prices for fans at the minute. It is absolutely extortionate. So I said to James, when it hits winter and all the fans are back at normal pricing, we need to buy a few. And then when it hits summer next year and they're all tripled in price, we won't have to worry about it. Because English homes weren't designed for this heat. We've all got carpet. Well, ignore my wooden floor, but there's carpet everywhere else. No one's got aircon. All the windows are double glazed. <laughs> it's like a proper little sweat box, but moving back to the outfit. I absolutely love it and I'll be leaving all my outfits in the description box because absolutely perfect, love it, don't want to take it off, have to because it's my first choice of outfits to put on and we have many more coming up. Right, I feel like this parcel actually came at a really perfect time because I've got three of these like unitard play suit things and they're absolutely perfect for this weather because again, they're really thin, lightweight really cool i mean like the back of it obviously you need to take the bra off but the bra was for the purpose of the cream outfit we've just tried on but just ignore the bra and um, perfect i'm so glad i got the three the blue i'll show you in a minute but just to um show you the gym set that i wore today if i turn it back the right way around i'm absolutely dripping i can't believe i'm doing this I feel like I'm getting all worked up. Like, whoo! And this is actually a true try on. Like, normally, I have opened the parcel, but that's only because I didn't. It's just a grey bag that my sheen parcels come in. Um, I think it's just a grey bag for everyone's sheen parcels, to be honest. Um, and it had my address on it, and it was just quite a boring, basic bag. So, I'm just brushing my hair through because it's all sticking to the back of my neck, which I have sprayed with Jojo, but I might have to do it again. And I know this causes, can cause acne, but I'm just too hot. <laughs> too hot. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, but does anybody else love the fact that they come in these little bags? Because I keep loads of these plastic bags. I'll sh I have to show you my bikini um, holiday drawer because they're all, now all my bikinis are in their own little bags. And I love them because they're like waterproof. So I take all of them in their own little separate bags. I let them dry out once I've worn them and then they go back in their own little waterproof bags in case they're a bit wet still. So I absolutely love them, so thank you. But yeah. 
we'll show you the orange one first. I didn't want to pop these on um, because I've worn them today, like I said earlier on in the video. And I've just had a shower and as sweaty as I still am, I feel a bit more, like I smell a bit better. So the last thing I want to do is pop on a sweaty gym kit again. But I had a lot of compliments on this gym set today. By, by girls, by girls, which is which is good. Cause I, I do love it when I go to the gym and like all the girls are like all happy and smiling and they smile at each other and they say like, oh hi and everything else. I'm like, oh, little, little girlfriend, little, little girl power. Don't know why I'm chatting, wham now. But I love it. So it's a really cute summery colour, ribbed again. It is like a proper fabric. I'm not like a fabric, I can't think of the word. But gym attire tends to be like a little bit more thin and stretchy. Now this is super stretchy, but it's quite thick and more cottony. Whereas I feel like gym sets are very, like they're designed to absorb sweat and stay quite cool. Whereas these, as much as it is a gym set, it says on Sheen, um, or Sheen, Jesus, um, <laughs> Sheen, 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 whatever. Um, it is still quite more of an outfit more than gym material so I would s suffice to say I was sweating in this material because it is proper cotton sweaty thick but really cute so and then sports bras are an absolute must especially when you're running on the treadmill so I got a super supportive black sports bra which was actually quite tight fitting, which I wanted, which is great. And it's really cute as well. This one is slightly ribbed again. It looks a bit grey there, but... Cute! So, what I might do is show you... I don't know what this is. Oh! I can't remember what I bought. Right, what I might do is show you the brown one and then I'll accessorise the black one. Because I also might stay in these for my little coffee date as well because again, these are really super cool for this weather. But they're so cute. I mean, I'm a bit gutted that I've only just got them in August. But I am going on lots of holidays next year so these are all good. And it still is quite hot in September, especially in England. I feel like it's supposed to be hot in May, June, July, but it was absolutely chucking it down for the past, I think the end two weeks of July, and it was freezing. So I feel like it actually gets the hottest in August and September in England, which is a weird combination. But anyway, I'm definitely loving chatting to you guys today. I don't know what it is. It must be the fact that I'm off work and I've had no one to talk to, but Ruru all day. And I'm absolutely dying. So again, you're just going to have to ignore the bra, but this is a really, really cute colour. I mean, I love the blue, but I am absolutely obsessed with, like, neutrals at the minute. I mean, I always have been, but especially now, I won't buy many colourful clothes. I feel like I am either. It's either one way or another for me. I, I either feel like wearing every colour of the rainbow or neutrals or black. That didn't really make any sense because that's all colours. But anyway, it's so cute. I love it. So I did buy a few oversized shirts to go away to the Maldives in, but they were more like sheer and see-through. Um, I can't think of what the fabric's called, but it was more like I can't think. But these are more cotton, so these aren't as see-through. Uh, definitely oversized, but I just think this type of outfit's really, really cute. Um, especially with some sandals and like, your sunglasses, a little bag. I just think it is really, really cute. Because I've seen loads of people wear this type of like outfit together and I just thought, oh, I love that combo, I need that combo. It's quite, um, I don't know what this is, but we'll, we'll go with it. And. I finally have my own little combo, which I absolutely love. Okay, so weirdly, the black unitard play suit, I 
actually came in a separate bag, even though they sell them as like a trio. So that was a bit odd, but we found it in the end. And I think, I know I've just said I love my neutrals, but like I said, I love my blacks as well. And I think blacks is a part of neutrals. I mean, I don't know. I, I do love it. Do I love it a little bit too much? What is with this today? Like, it's just so cute. I don't know what it is about the little combo of the oversized shirt and the little, like, either two-piece or the little play suit. I think it's just so cute. And it's actually really cool. Woo! So, I could probably wear the white or the black, really, with the play suit. I don't know, I feel like it looks like a really solid block colour and you probably wouldn't know what I was wearing from far away, but from up close. Bit of gold jewellery, cute bag, um, could even, I don't know if this is going to work, we're just freestyling right now. I mean, it's not terrible. Definitely needs ironing. The top, def well, the tops definitely need ironing. But I'm just like putting a little knot at the front, but it's so long at the back. Like it's not awful. I think with a little iron, cute gold necklace, gold hoops, cute bag, cute sandals. I think we're definitely onto something. I think so anyway. But we are moving on to the mystery parcel. So I want to open it with you guys because I've got, I have got terrible memory. I have, I was diagnosed with short term memory loss, which was that funny because when the woman diagnosed me with short term memory loss, she's like, oh, you're like a little door, you're off an email. I was like, thanks. Do I remember buying this? Don't know. We'll try it on though. Don't remember buying it, but we'll try it on. Okay. I don't remember buying it, but I do love it. Like a little um, like square neck ribbed top. Really cute. And I just thought actually this would go quite nice with a skirt <laughs> that I also bought on the weekend. I don't know who I think I am. I definitely haven't got the funds for all of this. Um... But me and Jess went shopping on the weekend as well. Um, not to mention it's also my niece's and my nan's birthday this month as well. Also went to Stradivarius. This might also be a good time to remind people that I am also dyslexic. So I do struggle sometimes with long fancy names. But I absolutely love this skirt that I picked up. Some little shorts, skirts. I mean, I don't know what it is with buying a load of summer stuff at the end of August. Well, middle of August. But I just thought it was too cute not to pick up. So I actually really like this outfit together. This is this is flow. A lot of things need ironing. But I love it. It's like a little linen beige material. Really cute. Uh, I don't think I've got anything else to show you. Oh, I did buy a top from Pull and Bear. which I didn't try on, but I did pick up my size, so let's just make sure that it definitely does fit. And you might as well see that outfit combo together as well. Also, Pull and Bear have got loads of really nice things in at the minute, and I really did have to hold back. And the fact that I only bought one thing is actually quite good for me. So the idea with this top was like, it'd go quite cute with this outfit, like a little tennis girl outfit. But also in the winter to like put under jumpers or like in autumn time with jeans. Um, <laughs> I did say it's either neutrals or every colour under the sun with me at the minute. It's never just a simple top and jeans outfit. It's always top and jeans and every other colour. Like on my shoes or in, on a bag. Um, it's either neutrals like my beiges or my blacks. That's the only thing that I'm wearing at the minute. But... I really like it. Uh, I might as well show you because I have mentioned 
probably on every video on my channel at the minute that me and James are hoping to move out at the beginning of next year. We have found a potential house which is exciting um, and obviously you're probably thinking you're saving up for a house, a house like the deposit, all the stuff to buy like for the house, <laughs> probably bills as well when you first get in there like why are you spending all of your money on clothes but few bits for the house as well which is exciting this has turned into a haul of many different companies rather than just Shen but it is one of his bath mat essentials I have to stop buying things like jars and candles otherwise I'll be sitting on the floor getting showers with nothing to dry myself with um, with just surrounded by loads of jars and candles and ornaments and picture frames and vases so I've actually thought if you're gonna buy anything for the house it has to be something that you actually need so I've got a bath mat in this really cute like off-white beige colour really nice design with tassels which I do have to watch Ruru with because sometimes when she gets a little bit if it's a little bit loud outside or if it's a little bit too hot like today and she's only going to get an evening walk when the pavement cools down she does like to hide herself away and poo on bath mats and that's white so that's a no that's a no-go um, and then i picked up two of these bath towels in the same design as a bath mat and in the same color because i like my matchiness but yeah, now at least when I get out of the bath or the shower, I won't have to just shake myself dry. I have a towel and a bath mat to stand on. Yay! Um, I think that's all that I need to share and show you guys. More than enough. But I really hope you enjoyed this haul. I know I did. I've definitely had to sleep my hair back with some gel and just let the rest of it do its own little wild thing at the back because I'm absolutely boiling and even though my face looks like a little egg right now it is what it is because it's too hot um, so I'm thinking I'm probably going to pop the little first beige cohort outfit back on because the shorts are quite loose and baggy which I think might bode quite nicely especially in the car because I have I'm not one of these girls with a thigh gap I have thick thighs so that's required but I hope you're all doing well guys thank you so much for watching this video and of course coming on to my channel and supporting me and my little videos um, I hope you enjoyed it I know I did I also realized that I definitely need to rein in the shopping because it is ridiculous and I could be spending my money on a lot more productive things but I do have an issue but it, it is what it is um and my plan is now that I'm just gonna get changed, probably make tea, probably go to Starbucks with James and then walk Ruru when we get back. I just need to check the pavement first but I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys!